cargo hold humidity, sweat, and ventilation. Control of atmospheric humidity is important to avoid damage to steel cargoes during transit. Relative humidity should be kept below 40% where possible. In any case, it should never be over 60% as this will lead to increased corrosion of cargoes. Steel cargoes may also be damaged during the voyage by sweat. Sweat is the condensation of water vapor from the atmosphere within the ship's hold. Ship's sweat occurs against the ship's structure and cargo sweat on the cargo. For example, if a ship loads a steel cargo in a cold climate and proceeds to warm climates for discharge, in this instance, the increase in the outside temperature will have only a very small effect on the temperature of the steel itself. However, any warm external air entering the hold will be cooled on contact with the cargo. If the air reaches its dew point temperature, water droplets will condense on the cargo. This is cargo sweat. When transiting from warmer climates to cold weather with a steel cargo, ship sweat may occur. In this instance, the ship's hull will be cooled by the outside temperatures. The warm hold air contacting the hull and frames may be cooled below its dew point temperature. Water droplets then condense on the ship's structures as ships sweat. As noted, water condenses out of the atmosphere when it reaches its dew point temperature. At this point, its relative humidity is 100%. However, when relative humidity in any hold is greater than 60%, the formation of rust on cargo is greatly accelerated. Best practice is to keep relative humidity below 40%. In any case, it should never be allowed to exceed 60% in any hold. This is usually accomplished by ventilation. This may be natural, mechanical, temperature controlled, or some combination of these. Dehumidifiers are also required where only natural ventilation is available or high-value cargoes are carried. The two rules recommended for use in ventilating steel cargoes during transit are the 3 degrees Celsius rule and the dew point rule. The 3 degrees Celsius rule. In this rule, ventilation is permitted when the dew point of the outside air is at least 3 degrees Celsius below the cargo temperature measured during loading. This rule is recommended for use when it is not possible to use the dew point rule. Dew point rule. Ventilation should only take place when the dew point of the air outside the hold is lower than that inside. In order to determine whether ventilation is appropriate, temperature readings must be taken within the hold and at an outside control point. Temperature readings should be taken at the load port, during the voyage, and at the discharge port. All readings must be recorded in the ship's cargo record book. During the voyage, they must be taken once per watch. The control position should be on the bridge. Thermometers should be placed in a shaded spot on the windward side. They must not be exposed to direct sunlight or to heat from exhausts or other indirect sources. Both wet and dry bulb readings must be obtained at each position and the dew point temperatures carefully determined. The thermometers in the hold must be waved in the air until the wet bulb temperature is steady. Inaccurate readings will be obtained if this is not done. A whirling psychrometer may be used if space allows. Alternatively, a wet and dry bulb thermometer may be hung in the trunking of a hold exhaust ventilator. Dehumidifiers are sometimes used as an alternative to, or in conjunction with, ventilation procedures. They are most effectively used to control the humidity when steel cargo voyages transit from cold to warmer climates. The dehumidifiers should be run as the temperature rises and warm air enters the holds. Removal of the water from the atmosphere prevents cargo sweat. 
The effectiveness of dehumidification is dependent upon provision of a constant airflow throughout the hole. Where this is not achieved, dehumidification may not achieve the desired results. Unless they are desiccant type, water collected by dehumidifiers is normally emptied into the hold bilges. These must therefore be pumped out at regular intervals when using dehumidifiers.